it's gonna rain and I kept saying yesterday it ain't gonna rain and guess what it didn't rain on me. <laughs> different kind of rain, I would say. 100%, 100% a rain of dominance. Some may say that he is too vain and too full of himself, but Noah Lyles is nothing if not confident in his abilities, and he can afford to be. That's just the truth of the matter, as simple as that. The 26-year-old American track star has proven time and again that he deserves to be at the top of the sport. To be fair, he has been working very hard to be where he is today chasing the title of being the fastest man in the world, which retired Jamaican sprinter Usain Bolt currently holds. Some believe that Lyles is inching closer and closer to breaking Bolt's world records, which had stood for quite a long time. In fact, just over a week ago, he just narrowly missed Bolt's record in the 150 meter. Well, if you Google Lyles' name, it's immediately apparent that he is a man measured, first and foremost, by a dizzying series of digits. He is a six-time world champion, a 2020 Tokyo Olympic 200-meter bronze medalist, and a sprinter who has top speeds of up to 37 kilometers per hour. Not too surprising for someone who said, once I set my mind to something, I make it come true. That doesn't mean I just sit back and wish upon a star. I put in the work, I control the natural, and let God control the super, that's how you create the supernatural. In his conversation with Days Digital, the reigning world champion shared, I was able to learn very early on that life is a series of ups and downs, and that every scenario isn't a hole, but a tunnel, he said. Unbeknownst to many, a struggle with severe asthma dominated his life from the ages of two to eight. As the son of two sprinters, Lyles knew he was athletic, but asthma prevented him from participating in sports competitively until high school. Fortunately, he found his way back to the sport, and the rest is history. Well, his record-breaking runs are definitely etched in history books, and he isn't done yet. Far from it, actually. This season, the American track star has caught the attention of many track enthusiasts. He has made ambitious claims ahead of the Paris Olympics, stating that his goals include not just gold medals, but also world records, and he might just be able to do that. Case in point, he crushed his personal best in the 60M to open the Olympic year in earnest. Well, in February, as he ran a personal best time in the 60M at the 2023 New Balance Indoor Grand Prix in Boston with 6.51 seconds. A few days later, Noah Lyles won the men's 60M showdown with Christian Coleman in a world lead and personal best of 6.43. In Albuquerque, New Mexico, Lyles took the tape over the race's three-time winner and world record holder Coleman by 0.01. Then, on the first day of the World Athletics Indoor Championships, Coleman secured gold in the 60-meter race, while Lyles clinched silver on the tracks of Glasgow by clocking a time of 6.44. Lyles was followed by Jamaican runner Akeem Blake in 6.46, while Team Kenya's Ferdinand Omanyala failed to reach the podium. He insisted that despite the results, he wasn't afraid of Coleman when they raced again at this summer's Olympics. I am never afraid, he said. I am always excited. I have increased the worst part of my race by drastic numbers, and I'm just ready to go back home and apply it to the 100 meter and 200 meter. Then, in April, Noah Lyles made a winning start to his outdoor season at the Tom Jones Memorial Invitational in Gainesville, Florida. The meet featured the cream of college athletics talent, plus more established names taking part in Olympic development races. Running in the city of his birth, the 26-year-old edged out Olympic 200-meter silver medalist Kenny Bednarek to win the 100-meter in 10.01. Both men were awarded the same time, but Lyles crossed the line five thousandths of a second in front. Kyrie King ran 10.02 in third, with Japan's Abdul Hakim Sani Brown, fourth in 10.04 seconds. Later that month, Lyles had proven yet again why he is the reigning men's 100 meter and 200 meter world champion. At the USATF Bermuda Grand Prix, Lyles blitzed to victory in the men's 100 meters in gusty conditions. Now, let's it see if that top end speed is there. Oh yes it is, and Noah Lyles gonna go sub 10. It was notably his second outdoor appearance of the season, 
stopping the clock in a wind-aided time of 9.96 seconds. Early this month, the USATF relay team had Courtney Lindsay, Kenny Bednarek, Kyrie King, and Noah Lyles as representatives at the 2024 World Relays in the Bahamas. There, Lindsay got the entire team off to a fast start, followed by Bednarek, who raced around the field and threw the baton to King. The young athlete then sprinted perfectly through the race course before passing the baton to Lyles. The six-time world champion was already ahead of the field and maintained his form to the finish line. Lyles won gold for the relay team, which secured them a ticket to the Paris Olympics. Team USA was significantly quicker than the entire grid, clocking in at 37.49 seconds. The USATF is now confident in their athletes for the Olympics after defeating the strongest teams at the international event. From there, things had been looking up for Lyles. Although he wanted a world record at the Atlanta City Games, he set an American one instead. Just over a week ago, the reigning world champion in both the 100 and 200 meter claimed the 150 meter title, clocking a 14.41, just 0.06 seconds behind Usain Bolt's 14.35 from 2009. Away first time, Lyles keeping his head down, driving hard there, working hard to get away from Josephus, his brother, second to left. No, Lyles pushing hard here, and he's gradually getting a bit of daylight. Zonel Hughes coming back at him, Zonel Hughes in second place. The Briton loses by a couple of meters, maybe three meters at the line. Lyles needed a mid-race surge in the straightaway event, overcoming Great Britain's Jarnel Hughes who was competing in the 150 meter for the first time in his career with 14.66. Other winners included 2020 Olympic silver medalist Kenny Harrison in the 100 meter hurdles, the American finishing strong to clock a 12.67 into a headwind in what was her season opener. Arion Knighton, who was meant to go head to head with Lyles, did not compete at the event, but instead held on a makeshift track in the city's Piedmont Park. Lyles' American teammates Grant Holloway and Alea Hobbs notched wins too, claiming the men's 110-meter hurdles with a time of 13.07 and women's 100-meter with 10.88, respectively. Anyhow, you saw how Noah Lyles emerged as the main character in NBC's pre-Olympic ad campaign, finishing in 14.41 to equal Tyson Gay's American record. You know, tie the American record, you know, shoot for the world record. But I mean, I'll, I guess I'll settle for Tyson's American record. I ain't gonna lie, that track was real bouncy, but I knew that going in, so I just had to deal with it. What's more? Well, no, Lyles, last year running 14.56. He runs a meter and more quicker than 12 months ago. We know. This accomplishment was also recognized by four-time world champion Justin Gatlin and Rodney A. Green, who discussed the track star on their Ready, Set, Go podcast on YouTube. In the podcast, the two former athletes discussed how the American track sensation made headlines after running an astounding 14.41 seconds in the 150 meter race. The achievement also left Gatlin stunned as he expressed his surprise. I, think, I mean, yeah. watching him run that, that 150 and the mark that he put up, and then also looking at how he ran at the World Relays in the Bahamas, it gives you a good bearing of, of what top end speed looks like, right? That's not all. I was surprised that he was, he was able to keep the capabilities of running that fast. This in his outdoor season this year, he only competed in the 60 meter, 100 meter, and 150 meter races so far. However, the track star's major goal is to run the 200 meter, but that's not the only one. At the Paris Olympics, he will attempt a feat no sprinter has managed before, to win four gold medals in the 100 meter, 200 meter, 4x100 and 4x400 meter events. It is also in Paris, where he will attempt to beat the records Bolt set at the 2009 World Championships, making him one of the most famous athletes of the 21st century. Basically, he plans to be the fastest man in the world by the end of the year, whether or not that will happen, we'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, watch this to who else wants to make their mark in Paris.